When it comes to the body, the body is always going to tell you what you need, but there's always something that we can do. So if you get sore, if you tweak something or you get injured, don't worry, I got you in today's video. And last point is the body. So is your body sore when you wake up or maybe you might have tweaked something or is it to a point where it's become injured? So the next day you, you woke up and it hurts to sit, you know, like you're sore, right? Now, sore is something that we expect because sore equals sexy. Now, sore is something that we expect, especially if you're newer to working out or you've taken a little bit of time off or maybe we threw in a new exercise that your body just isn't accustomed to. It's just your body's way of adapting. The tougher the exercise or the tougher the workout, the more muscle tissue you create, you break down. And once that tissue gets break down, it creates inflammation. Inflammation creates little pain signals to the nerves and the nerve signal to your brain that, hey, I'm sore. So the muscle just hasn't recovered properly. If you're sore and generally at Fit Club, we won't ever really do the same body parts back to back. We might do legs, meaning that we'll do quads one day, so the front of the thighs. We might do glutes, like the booty. We might do hamstrings. We might do, actually do glute work. We might work the calves. But generally, we're not gonna do a full class of just squats, and then the next day, we're gonna do another full class of squats where we're using the exact same muscles. So at Fit Club, it's designed so that you don't get repetitive injury from doing the exact same type of workout every single day. You might be using your upper body to do a chest press, but the chest is different than the biceps, okay? So you're never gonna do five chest workouts in a row, okay? We would never do that to you. So if you're sore, then you can reduce or rest the area by doing a different muscle group. And we generally have that laid out for you. So sore isn't a sign that you need to take a day off. Sore means let's get into the gym, let's do another workout, let's not attack the same muscles, but let's speed up the recovery by getting the blood flow and clearing out all that metabolic waste that the soreness has created so that you can recover faster, you can get sexy, and we can continue to keep you at the gym. Now, if you're working out and you're doing chest press and all of a sudden you feel a tweak in your shoulder, if you ever tweak something while you're working out, I would tell you that you should never continue to do that exercise. If you feel something right away, whether you tweak the knee, whether you tweak the hamstring, a calf, a bicep, or shoulder, you can first try and reduce, okay? So if you're doing lat pull downs and you felt something tweak into your bicep, I would tell you to not use the same resistance for that second round that you do it. I would say reduce it by a minimum of half move the body and see if you can walk it off, right? See if blood flow and time will recover it. And if you still feel it, even though you've reduced the amount of resistance, then I would tell you that you need to not use that body part for the rest of the day, okay? If you do the light, lighter weight and you, it feels okay, I would tell you not to go back to your heaviest weight. I would say just let it recover do your third round of going lighter with that same exercise so that this way we can stimulate blood flow, but we don't wanna further create any type of damage into that area to the point where you get injured. So if you tweak something, it's much like if you woke up sore. So sore, tweak, tweak is one step closer to an injury. Sore, you could potentially tweak something, but if we reduce the, the, the area that we're working and you don't use the same body part like two or three days in a row, then there's a good chance that you're not gonna tweak anything. But if you get tweaked, you need to immediately reduce. And then again, try and avoid that, that exercise or that muscle group the day after. Give it about two days to make sure that it's fully recovered so it goes from tweaked to sore, okay? So we don't want you to tweak it. If you tweak it, we reduce and we don't use the next day, but it doesn't mean that we need to stop working out because there's other parts of our body that we can use. Now, if you get injured, this one, you actually have to rest, okay? So if you injure your knee, so let's say that you've tweaked your MCL or your meniscus and you've created inflammation and damage into that area and you could be using a knee brace. This is where we actually need to rest this, okay? We have to go back to baby steps. We have to go to phase one of rehab. So at that point, 
if it's like a major mover, such as like your knee, like, I mean, your upper body, we can still do a lot of lower body stuff and we can burn a lot of calories with the lower body. But when it comes to the upper body, we can't burn as much. It's just tougher to do so because it doesn't move our entire body weight. So if you tweak a major mover like your knee or your back, then we have to get into phase one where we can still use that leg, but we can't use the leg like it used to be. And so at this point, if you injure yourself, I would tell you that we really need to get strict on your nutrition because if you were a crazy workout person and you're doing like two really intense workouts, then the amount of calories that you're burning in exercise is going to significantly reduce due to this injury. But we can't focus on losing weight and rehabbing the knee. We can if you focus on your nutrition, but that's often the hardest part. And so what you need to do is focus on rehab, okay? It doesn't mean you stop going to the gym. All it means is that you focus on rehabbing that knee. So utilizing your physiotherapist, utilizing your coach for the day, letting them know of your injury, also doing some research on the internet as to what modifications or what exercises can you do instead. When I completely fractured my knee in 2019, I remember I was like bedridden for a complete month. Like I couldn't leave the house. I was just in too much pain. And when I finally did, I was like, the first place I need to do is go to the gym. And when I went to the gym, I was working out with a 76 year old woman that had both knees replaced, two shoulder replacements, this and that. But all we did was just like, pendulum swing. So the exercises that my physio gave to me, I literally stood in the corner and I did the pendulum swings, right? And then whatever I can do with the weights, I did with the weights, but otherwise just being present in there sped up my recovery because I was in the right environment. So when you go to the gym, if you do have a knee injury, you could still probably go and do a lot of the upper body exercise that we do, a lot of the ab exercises do, but you might not be able to get up and down as fast. So the coach is gonna be able to support you and provide a modification for that day. And at the very least, you can take a lot of these injuries. So if you go see a doctor or whatever it is, ask what my injury is. And there's this thing called YouTube that you can go on and there's tons of geniuses out there that give you exercises and education on all of this for free. You don't need a referral. You don't need a specialist. You just need to know what did you diagnose me with when you go and see this initial doctor so that you can have a better understanding of what the injury is. Just get the name and go YouTube it or chat GPT it or Google it and you're gonna be able to find, okay, here's the things I can and cannot do. And so you'll be able to take those exercises, you'll be able to apply it towards your rehab because you're not gonna go see your physio five days a week. Like you won't have the coverage for it from work. And even like a workplace, like a WCB and this and that, they're not gonna like get you on five days a week right away. So you might as well, might as well utilize your time properly, take those exercises that you could learn or that your coach can give you or your physio can give you and you can apply them to a lot of the exercises that we do in the blue. So injured doesn't mean stop. <laughs> I guess the moral of this video is you don't stop working out. You don't quit the gym. Things are gonna happen. You're gonna be tired. You're gonna be starving. You're gonna be tweaked. You could get injured. You could get sore. But either way, none of them mean that you stop your life and it doesn't mean that you can improve. You can always improve on the things that you do. So even if you have to take a step back and start from base one, that's okay because at least starting at base one versus zero is always better than doing nothing. Now, if you need a quick recovery team, do the four to five minute stretch after every class. And if you're a member, then why don't you invite your friends to try the five for five so that they can start to build up their body, they can live a longer, healthier life. Send them to our website, www.fitclub.fit, and we'll get you started today.